Hello guys, welcome to Ramza Solutions. Welcome to your lesson on electrostatics. Today, we're going to look at electric field. So, by the end of this video, you will know how to define electric field, okay? You will also know how to draw electric field on positive charges and also on negative charges. You will also learn to draw electric field when two, or for two like charges and for two unlike charges. Okay. Now, without any waste of time, let's get into it. Now, let's define electric field. So, we will define electric field as, remember, when you were in grade 9, you had defined a field as a region space through which an object will experience a force. Now check this out. We will define electric field as a region in space, okay? A region in space through which, now pause, a region in space through which, check this out, an electric charge, right? Through which an electric charge will experience a force. Okay, we'll experience a force. So, in grade 9, you had said, remember, a field is a region in space through which an object will experience a force. But now, because you're in grade 11, and you're talking electric field, we are not being general, we are now being specific. We're referring to an electric field for in place of the object, we will be saying, no, we are talking about electrostatics. So this is where we're talking electric charges. So we will now say electric field is a region in space through which an object, uh, through which an electric charge will experience a force. Okay. So this is the definition of your electric field. Okay. So now this answers now this tells rather why electrons and rather why point charges exert forces on each other okay let me write it down i will say point charges i don't want to say charges per se so i'll say this explain this tells why point charges exert forces on each other okay exert forces or each other okay so this e explains why point charges exert forces on each other so but the question is now how do they know how do they know that uh, there is another charge next to them it's because of this electric field right because of this electric field point charges will exert forces on each other okay remember we have touched electrostatic force in the previous video. Now we are looking at electric field. Okay. Now, um, we are then going to learn about, um, we're going to draw electric fields. Okay. We're going to draw them. So let's look at representing them. Okay. Let's represent them. So representing electric field, this will be my topic. Now, my subtopic now is representing electric fields. Okay. Ah, oh, this is a bad line. So, representing electric fields. Now, here, we're going to begin with, let's consider a positive charge. Okay. Let's consider a positive charge. Okay. And I want you to draw these lines here. Draw them like these. So, this one here. Um, you can also, okay, I think they fight. So this one here, we're going to say um, it's electric field um, on a on a positive charge, okay? So let's, or rather, let me just say this is a positive charge. As you can see, I'm labeling my diagrams. So for a positive charge, charges are outwards, okay? For a positive charge, Charges are outwards. Okay? Charges are outwards. 
Now let's try a negative charge. Let's try a negative charge. Let's draw it. Draw with, draw with me, guys. Okay. So let's say this is a negative charge. So here, let me label this. This is a negative charge. Electric field of a negative charge. Okay. So this is electric field of a negative charge. Okay. So, okay, I can't really. Oh, it's nice. Yes. So for a negative charge, the the direction of the field is going into the sphere. Okay. It's going into. Okay. It's going into. Remember, with a positive charge, they were going outside. Can you see that? For a positive charge, they are going outwards. But for a negative charge, they are going inwards. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? The direction is inwards for a negative charge and outwards for a positive charge now and let's look at let's look at first thing first we have looked at um the positive and the negative charges i'm not going to look at how they react around each other as yet now something that you should know is this i want you to now look at this one here um maybe let me copy this um maybe let me copy this okay yeah i'm gonna copy it and paste it in the page. Okay, add to current. Let me, okay, copy it. Thank you. Now, let me paste it here. Okay, let me paste it here. And then, okay, here is it. Let me paste it again. Okay, so what I'm doing here, what I'm doing here, I'm going to add some information. I'm going to add some information on this one here. Um, it's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to add some information on this one here. So I'm going to add more strokes. I'm going to add more strokes. I'm going to add more strokes. Okay. I'm adding more strokes. So now the question is, if this is figure A and this is figure B, which one carries more charges? Okay, which one carries more charges? Okay, so I'm going to give you an opportunity to draw these and then just a few five seconds and you will answer that question. Which one carries more charges? Okay, which one carries more charges? Your five seconds starts now. Okay. Answer is B. Okay. So B is carrying more charges. Okay. B is carrying more charges. Okay. B is carrying more charges. So why do we say B is carrying more charges? This is because it has more increased number of field lines. Right. Why? Why? Increased number of field lines. Right? Increased number of field lines. Okay? And as you can see, um, the field lines are more closer together. So this is why we see figure B ha carries more charges. Okay? This is why we say figure B carries more charges. Okay? All right. So... Now you have an idea of which one is carrying more charges. Now let's look at when these guys, let's look at now these guys when you have light charges and you have unlike charges. Okay. So now I'm going to look at the electric field around unlike charges. Okay. Electric field around unlike charges. Okay, around unlike charges. So let's say I'm going to copy that diagram again. Okay, here is it. And, oh no, let me not, let me not use it. Let me just draw it afresh. Yeah, let me just draw it afresh. So we have 
when we talk of unlike charges, this is where we say we have a positive charge and a negative charge. Okay? A positive charge and a negative charge. So what we have is we will draw a line that so these lines will be drawn like this. They'll be drawn like this. Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, these lines should not intersect. Okay? And then there's one there. And then let me just do this. Okay. So let's begin here. So this is a positive charge. All right. This is a positive charge. I had said to you the direction of the electric field around a positive charge is that they go outwards. All right. They go outwards. Can you guys see that? They go outwards. Can you guys see that? Now, now that they go outward, what about in the negative charge in the negative charge they go inwards so as you can see this one goes inwards so these ones here they will be inwards okay they will be inwards so this is how you draw your electric field around unlike charges okay perfect now let's look at electric field around like charges Okay, electric field. Oh boy, I don't know what's going on. Okay, electric field around like charges. Okay, around like charges. Again, okay. let me try. I'm going to try with uh, maybe positive and positive. Let me try it here. Positive and a positive. Okay, and then... And then I'm going to try with negative and, maybe let me move it a bit here, negative and another negative. So, we have said, one thing you know is that like charges repel each other. So, these are repelling each other. So, this means the lines will not intersect uh, like they did in the previous slide. So, this is a positive charge, so they go outwards, right? They go outwards like this, right? They go outwards like this, okay? They go outwards. Oh, what am I doing here? They go outwards like this, right? They go outwards like this. So this is... um Positive... Uh, and positive, right? So this is positive and positive. And basically, this is where we say all together, the diagrams you're going to draw, it's a repulsion. Okay? Now let's try negative charges. Okay, let's try negative charges. Okay, negative charges. Now, with negative charges, we said the direction is inwards, right? Direction is inwards. It's inwards, right? It's inwards. Now, mm. what is this? This is negative and negative, right? Negative and negative. So, as you can see, like charges repel each other, right? Like charges repel each other, right? Like charges repel each other. Now, in the previous slide, this therefore says, unlike charges attract each other, okay? Unlike charges attract each other okay unlike charges attract each other and now you can see that like charges repel each other and this is how you draw electric field this is how you draw electric field um of these points okay electric field you have seen how to draw electric field around a positive charge we have also seen how to draw electric field around a negative charge okay 
and we have also seen how to differentiate between a charge that carries more charges than the other all right now you have you now know how to draw electric field around unlike charges so this is what we did and we also drew electric field around like charges and we know like charges repel each other right so now what do you think or how do you think this would look like if um this had um let's say one had um what what should we say how do you think um these diagrams would look like if one had a bigger charge that's a question that I should ask you. If one had a bigger chance, how do you think this would look like? And her? And her? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, okay. You guys have an idea. I'm sorry. In this video, you guys will not hear this. Okay, so let's say unlike charges, unlike charges with different um with different magnitudes. Okay, with different magnitudes. I'm gonna give you an example. So maybe let's try this. So remember, uh, we have said. A charge with um, uh, more, rather an object with more charges will have more electric field lines around it, right? Okay, so let's draw this. Um, maybe let me ask you. Um, maybe let me ask you. If, okay, I'm going to take an example. Let me just do it. And then let me just do this here. Let me just do this here. Which one has more charges? It's figure B, right? Sorry, it's this object here, right? This object here has more charges, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, this object here has more charges. Okay, so if this object has more charges, then how would we show this? How would we show this? Obviously, check this out. Let's say this one here is a uh, positive, and this one here is negative. There's attraction between them. All right, so check this out. Uh huh. Okay, I'll look there. Uh -huh. So look at this. Would you really say this diagram is correct? Okay, let me do this. Um, the direction is really important. Um, yes. Would you say this diagram is correct? Yes, it is correct. Yes, it is correct. This is how it looks like. Okay, this is how it looks like. So this one here has a smaller, has has a smaller as as has rather small smaller charges okay as compared to this one here this one is bigger than this one here okay this one here is bigger than this one here and this is how you draw your um electric field when your objects have different charges can you guys see that all right so this is it and i'll see you next time when we get examples okay bye bye